Hey, Sophia, you didn't even finish cleaning the house. Where are you wandering around? Where? I'm at work. Work? You're working? We talked about it before. Roy got a new job, and I started working too. That's not what I heard. Come home right now. The house is so messy and unorganized. I can't do that. I'm still working. My break is over. I have to go back. I'm not allowing you to do that. Quit your job right now. All you have to do is focus on the housework. I can't do that. If I didn't work now, we wouldn't be able to live. That's because you are not good at saving money. I'm guessing you're wasting so much. And spending even Roy's salary on you. I didn't do that. I haven't bought anything for myself. I've been saving up for a long time. What are you saying? You're already married. You don't need to dress up. I don't know who you're trying to attract. I dare you trying to cheat on my son. Of course not. It's not about who you show it to. I'm talking about the minimum necessary as a human being. I see people at work. I can't go out looking shabby. If that's the case, why don't you get a job that you don't have to see people? An introverted person like you. You should just work at a warehouse or somewhere like that. Why don't you change jobs right away? It was Roy who told me to get a job in the first place. What? He did? He asked me to get a job, so I looked for it. I'm sorry, I really need to go back. I'll call you later tonight. What? Hey! I'm not done talking to you! Hey! Hey, what time are you coming home today? I'm close to the edge. Um, what? Are you complaining about mom again? You could say so, but... Would you talk to your mom too? I can't stand it if it goes on every day. What do you want me to say? It's you being so clumsy. That's why she gets mad at you. Don't you ever think about fixing yourself? Don't talk like she's the only one to blame. I'm clumsy? Do you know what she does? You mean like teaching you some housewife stuff? It's that you don't take care of the house well. She's just teaching you how. It's her kindness, so you should be grateful. That's not what it is. She comes to our house early in the morning every day and watch me do the housework, even at night after work. She makes sure that I do everything, and if she doesn't like the food, she throws it all away. I don't see how that's being nice. Isn't that how it is? Have you ever thought of blaming on yourself? What? Grandma was much worse than her. She's doing it with kindness. No, that's not what I'm trying to say. I'm saying that she's sarcastic to me always, and I can't stand it anymore. It's not that she's being sarcastic. It's all true. What's wrong with telling the truth? What do you mean, the truth? It's because you are not doing the housework correctly. That's why she gets mad at you. Have you tried to improve? Did you apologize to mom? Wait a minute. What am I apologizing for? Oh, I don't know. Maybe you should be sorry that you didn't do the housework properly? Oh, and also, you should be sorry that you haven't had a kid. I can't do that now. I started a new job. You know the situation. She doesn't understand that. Why don't you just say you're sorry? Then she'll understand a little. Is it my fault? Then what? Are you saying it's my fault? Because I changed jobs and my salary went down? I'm sure that's part of it, but... In the first place, I'm the only one who makes all the money in the house. Don't you think it's strange? Why do I have to work all the time? It's not fair. When I got married, I quit my job because you wanted me to be a housewife. 
I quit because of you. I thought of keeping the job, though. It depends on a situation, you know. You know the word resourceful, right? You're a wife. Think about supporting your husband. You lack of compassion. Well then, do you support me? You don't protect me from your mother. I do all the housework too. This is just me working extra, isn't it? Housework is supposed to be a wife's job, and I get paid better than you. I work harder than you, so you should do the housework, right? If your salary exceeds mine, I'll do the housework. What's with that tone? We're a couple. You could help me out a little. Oh, my bad. I'm going back to work. You better get along with mom. Think about how I feel about being caught in between. Wait a minute. Hey. Sophia, come to my place right now. I'm hungry. What? Now? Yes. I'm not feeling good. Roy is on his way too. Come prepare the meal. I just finished work. Even if I hurry, it'll take an hour to get there. I can't wait that long. Roy is on his way. You better get here quickly. I mean... This is why I don't like you working. A wife gets a job. And I heard you were being so cocky. Saying that it's because of Roy's salary isn't enough. Isn't that rude to him? Who works so hard? No, I didn't go that far. I heard it from him. Are you saying he's lying to me? It is true that I said I got a job because he changed his jobs, but... I've never complained about his salary. You keep making excuses like that. I also heard that you forced him to do the housework. You can't even do it yourself. Are you in a spot to tell others what to do? No. You should know where you stand. I'm sorry. I'll prepare dinner tonight. You're both off tomorrow. Stay here and clean the house all day tomorrow. Understood? Hey! Where are you? You are fixing the yard today. I need you to do it as soon as possible. I'm sorry. I'm at a clinic now. Why? I have a stomach ache. What? Seeing a doctor only for a stomach ache? That's such a waste of time. Don't be silly. It's gastroenteritis. The doctor said that... I it's because I'm tired. He also said I should get some rest. If you are tired, then I'm even more tired. Roy, too. Getting a useless wife like you. Anyway, come back as soon as possible. You have a lot of work to do. I'm sorry. I can't go there today. That's enough. You are abandoning your housework. Only because of that? You don't know what it's like to be a wife. If you keep talking nonsense like that. I will make you two get a divorce. I just got a call from the hospital. They said mom was brought in. A neighbor found her. They said she had a stroke. I'm on my way to the hospital. I need you there as soon as possible. What? Okay. How's mom? Nothing new? Yeah. She's in rehab, but... Thinking of her age? She might be paralyzed. Ugh. I never thought my mom would be like this. I know. What are you going to do now? She'll be in the hospital for another ten days, right? Is she going to stay at a nursing home? We'll take her in. Nursing home is expensive, so you take care of her. What? Are you sure? Huh? Okay, I'll do all the paperwork and stuff that's needed. Huh? Oh, uh... I can quit my job, right? If I have to take care of her. 
I can't keep working, right? Well, yeah. Okay, then I'll quit my job. Hey! Sophia! Is it dinner yet? I'm hungry! Oh, I'm sorry. I'm still getting grocery at a supermarket. And I need to do laundry too. You have to wait a little longer. What the? You better not be wandering around. And killing time somewhere. I need you to do what you're supposed to do. What are you talking about? I'm getting grocery for you. I'm taking care of you. How could you say that? I don't want you to take care of me. I let you do it because I have no choice. Oh, really? But Roy won't let you stay at nursing houses. And he doesn't take care of you either. Are you sure you don't want me to take care of you? I can take care of myself. I don't need your help. Leave me alone. What are you talking about? You can't do anything on your own. You can't live without me anymore. What? For all the care you've given me, I'll pay you back. Please look forward to it from now on. Don't be silly. What are you going to do to me? You're not up to something, are you? Oh, shut up. I wish your right hand was paralyzed instead of your left hand so that you can't use your dominant hand and stop complaining. What are you saying? I'm just kidding. That's not funny. Sorry. Oh well, I gotta go. Bye. Sophia! Come here. Now! Um, no. Why not? Because I'm getting rid of your clothes right now. What? Why are you doing that? Because you can't even dress yourself. You don't need these fancy clothes anymore. There's no need to keep them. So I'm throwing them away. What? What are you doing? You got rid of my clothes too, remember? Now we're even. Oh, I also threw your favorite plates away. You drop plates a lot, so... You know, when you don't like the food, it's dangerous to break them, right? Wait a minute. Are you talking about... Was it the one your late husband gave you? I remember you told me so. You got rid of my plates my mother gave me too. I guess you can't blame on me. That's enough. Go pick it up right now. That was important. Too late. They have already got collected. I guess it's in the incinerator by now. Sorry about that. You are crazy. Are you taking advantage of my situation? Is that your idea of revenge? Revenge? I haven't done anything yet. I'm looking forward to what's to come. I'm in charge to take care of you. I can do whatever I want with you. You better be ready. No! I don't want you to take care of me! Get out! Right now! What? Are you sure you want to do this? Really? Of course! I mean it! I can't relax if you're here! Hey! Why is mom alone? What are you doing? Your mother told me to leave. So I left. I know you did something again. Come home and apologize to mom now. I'm not apologizing. I'm never going back to that house again. Take a good look around the house. You don't see any of my stuff, do you? I'm not home yet. Of course I can't see. Just come home. Of course, you're drinking again. It's been like this for a while. Ever since we took your mother in. I do all the hard part. You go out drinking by yourself. 
I can't relax at home. So I go out to drink. What's wrong with that? Who do you think I'm taking care of? Whose parent do you think she is? Well, she is my mother. But she is your parent too. My parents. They are not me like yours. They don't throw away people's things without permission. And they don't treat their daughter-in-law like a slave. I think that's normal, don't you? But... My mom took care of you. What do you mean by taking care of? I don't know what you're talking about. Don't be silly. What are you going to do with her now? She can't live on her own. Why don't you think about it? It's about your parent. I have a job. Like you, I'm busy. I have a job too. About the job you told me to quit. I didn't. I explained the situation to my boss. So I'm just on a break. I'll be back at work tomorrow. What? Did you fool me out? Yes, I did. So? I was going to divorce you and leave the house. After I did back everything she has done to me. What? Divorce? What are you thinking? Um, all I'm thinking about is a divorce. Your mom can't leave her room. So I called for movers. And they moved all of my stuff. You jerk! What are we going to do now? I'm telling you. Just take care of your mother. Oh, but... I guess you can't live there anymore. What? Why not? You know, the furniture and home appliances? I bought all of them when I used to live in an apartment. So I brought them to my new place. Did you lose your mind? How could you? Why? It's none of your business. They are all mine. It's just you saying whatever you want. Not getting a divorce. I take care of your mother. I start working if we have no money to spare. And I prepare breakfast, lunch, and dinner without nothing being said. I was a free housekeeper. Who would want to give that up? But that's over today. The only thing I'm thinking about is divorcing you. Wait. If we divorce, what about me and mom? I'd have to take care of her. I can't work. I think you're talking to the wrong person. You should be talking to your mom right now. Come on, please. Well, I can't do this without you. You're going to be lonely too, aren't you? Of course not. I'm finally free to live the life I've always wanted. I've been able to endure it because I still have some love left in me. But now, it's all gone. Why? What did you say when your mother was being so mean to me? You always said, it's your fault. And you made fun of me with her. It's hard to love someone like that, isn't it? But it's your fault too. So you're not responsible for anything? You don't have anything to blame yourself for? No, it's not that. If you feel sorry even for a little bit, go home right now and fill in the divorce papers. Well, I don't think you would feel sorry. I've already filed for mail forwarding. If you send it to that house under my name, it'll get to my house. Are you serious? Are we really over? You are getting annoying. I don't want to live in that house anymore. With you and your old lady. Good luck with taking care of her. I guess you're going to have a hard time dealing with her big mouth and not paralyzed side. Please, hold on to me. Sophia, please come back. About half a month later, I got a mail. A letter of apology and divorce papers from him. I knew that his mother would still get angry for not being able to move as she wants to. Even if it's her son who's taking care of her. She seems to take it out on him. 
Roy started to miss work days. It's got difficult for him to work full time, so he changed to a part time job. He's now working and taking care of his mother at his parents' house. His mother is forcing him to remarry. But who would? With a man with no future and a picky mother in law in need of care? I am finally free from the two of them and living a stressless life on my own. <laughs>